What is happening, good people of YouTube, and welcome back to the Overly Gaming Project. Today's video, we are in Fishing Sim World Pro Tour, continuing our epic career mode. And this is episode number 20. Wow, today's event, the Marshall County Classic. It's Lake Gunnersville, Alabama. It's one of my favorite lakes here in the game, in the uh, bass tours, uh, from the amateur ranks to the middle bass tour to the elite bass tour. Lake Gunnersville is one of my favorites. There are a lot of big bass in this lake, and we're going to go find them today. It's going to be three rounds, 20 minutes. It's in the morning, the weather's dynamic. I mean, who knows what the hell's gonna happen. And we are looking to catch some biggins, and I don't wanna hold us up anymore. Let's get out there on the water, catch some of these damn fish. All right, we currently sit in 25th position with two events left. And I kinda feel like we're gonna need to win these last two events in order to move up. Uh, I mean, our goal is to win the whole elite tour but I don't know that that's going to happen with only two events left and I mean we won the last event and it only moved us from 28th place up to 25th place so I mean I don't know what's going to happen two events left this season we're currently in 25th uh, spot well, let's go ahead and see how far up we can move greetings everybody and welcome to the next event on the tour while the competitors are making their final checks over their tackle Let's take a look at the rules for today's event. All right, here are the rules for the tournament. Take the five biggest bass that you caught every round and you add them up. And if the weight is better than everybody else, then you win. It's pretty simple. I kind of like the tournaments that do the total weight of bass, but they're just going to pick your best five. That's fine. We can find some big ones out here on Lake Garnersville. Let's go. All right, round one, three, two, one. Let's get in the boat. Well, you know, before we get out there on the water, we have got to take a look at the map and let's uh, figure out where we're going. There are a few different hot spots here on Lake Gunnersville, and we are going to start at the very bottom boat ramp. And I'm going to show you the first spot. All right, here we are, bottom boat ramp. Basically, you're just going to get in your boat and turn right. And there's a bridge down here. And we're gonna fish underneath this bridge for some big bass. And if this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Man, I'm excited to have you here with us. And uh, we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So if you are not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do that right now. And look, while you're at it, hit that uh, notification bell so that you're notified of all the content coming out. And hit the like button if you like this series if you want to see it continue show me the love hit the like button and don't forget leave any comments down below doesn't matter what you say all right let's take a look at our tackle real quick man we are just kind of using the normal ba baits that work for us around here the only thing different is i've changed up the color on the stick worm we're going with the bubble gum stick worm uh, we usually use the milk money now we're using the bubble gum i don't know there really isn't any uh, reason why I just kind of feel like using a pink worm today and we have the Booyah black buzz bait this is an absolute destroyer of bass and then we have this bandit 200 series it's the spring crawl yellow and this has been catching us some real big fish so that's what we're going with here today we got uh, 20 pound sunline sniper fluorocarbon we got our rods our reels Let's just throw some shit out there and catch some fish. All right, starting off with the buzz bait, and we're just going to cast this right towards the bridge. But bam, 100% cast strength. You can't start off any better than that. And we have already wasted three minutes in this tournament. And we got to catch up. Level two retrieval right across the top of the water. Well, already I can see some real big fish swimming underneath of this thing. Here we go, right to the edge of those rocks. Let us sit for a minute. And just start reeling it back. Constant retrieval. All right, casting again. More towards the middle of the bridge now. And basically what you want to do is you want to do a fan cast where you just kind of fan, cat. you cast it in all different kinds of directions. See where the fish are. Oh, I see some fish swimming around it there. There are some big old bass right underneath this bait. 
Water temperature about 80 degrees. These fish should be jumping. Here's another cast, a little bit further to the right. Like I said, just fan it out like a fan. You just cast it out in different places, and pretty soon you'll get a bite. Oh, bam! Oh, there we go, fish on. Good strikes, not a great strike. It's not a poor strike, just a good strike. And we have got a fish on, and that is a bass. And he is jumping, he is feisty, he's pissed. That's the first one of the day. And that looks to be like a seven, eight pounder maybe. And we're gonna bring him in the boat and that should put us towards the top of the leaderboard, but already the first place fisherman's got almost 10 pounds of fish. Here he comes in the boat. And there it is. It's a pretty average sized bass, but we will take him. Pretty fish, it's a four pound, 12 ounce fish. Not great, spotted bass on the black booyah buzz bait. Put him in the boat. 100% cast strength. And we are under 14 minutes left to go in this tournament. We're up to 35th place. Got to have some patience here in the Elite Bass Tour. It's a little bit more difficult. Oh, there's a big old bass right underneath of that. Oh my God. We have got to catch that bass. That thing was enormous. All right, let's get right back in there and catch that big one. Oh, ba bam So oh, fish on, perfect strike. Well, that boy came right on up out of the water, and he sucked down that buzz bait, and now he's like, oh, crap. Well, that's a big mama, too. That's a big, that fish is so fat, it can't jump out of the water. Look at him. Wow. What a beautiful looking fish that is already. And we don't want to lose him here. Lower we'll down the drag a little bit. It's a, it's a bigger fish. Oh, boy. Lower we'll down that drag. Now raise the drag. It's a nice size looking fish here. It's a nice fatty, fatty, fatty fish. Oh, come on fish, you get in the boat. Come on, stop running. Stop your running. We need you fish. Oh, here he comes in the boat. Oh, bam, that's a big old fish right there. That is a beautiful fish. Seven pound, seven ounce largemouth bass on the black booyah buzz bait. Let's get on back in there and get another one. And just like that, we are up in second place with 12 pounds, four ounces of fish. Let's go. And you know there's other fish he's looking at. Oh, bam, oh, perfect strike right off the third cast there. We've had three straight casts with a fish and look at the size of the belly on this fish. I mean, look, I'm not making fun of fat fish, but I'm gonna make fun of this fat fish right here. You got a belly that big, somebody's gonna make fun of you, right? I mean, it's not like bullying. I mean, fish don't have feelings, do they? And they can't hear what I'm saying about them. They certainly can't understand me. Oh my God, look at this fish. Bring this fish in the boat. This is gonna put us in the first place. Oh, we gotta tire this fish out. I mean, judging by the size of it, it's gonna get tired pretty quick. Oh, he's coming in the boat. Oh my God, look at how fat that fish is. Holy crap, that's a smallmouth. Seven pound, 14 ounce smallmouth. Look at how fat it is. I hope people don't say that about me when I walk down the street. Look at how fat he is. I mean, not like that fat, but that's a fat ass fish right there. You gotta admit, come on now. Get in the boat. Well, wow, that did not put us into first place like I thought. We are still in second place. Wow, looks like Chris Johnston in first place with 22 pounds. We're in second place with 20 pounds. And we are gonna need a couple more fish here in the next 10 minutes. All right, here we go. We're gonna cast more underneath of that bridge. Seems like that's where we were catching the fish. Come on, fish. And the other thing you can do, oh, there's a big old fatty underneath of this thing. Come on, take it. You know you want to? And the other thing you can do is you can take your boat to the other side of the bridge and fish from that side. And um, same result, you'll, you'll get a lot of fish. Come on, fishies, I see you. I see you swimming underneath of it. Come on. 97% cast strength, that's really good. All right, that Busby hits the water, let it sit for a minute, and then start reeling it back in. Man, I see some real big fish swimming past this. There we go, but my ammo, that's a poor strike. That is not a very good strike. That is not a very good strike, and that's not a very good looking fish. That looks like a small ass fish. And it looks kind of gray. Maybe that's a spotted bass. Oh, come 
Come on, get in the boat. Get in the boat so I can go get a bigger fish. We still don't want to lose him because we do need this fish. This is probably going to put us in the first place. Here he comes in the boat. All right, that's a gray and purple fish. It's kind of cool looking. I like it. It's a spotted bass, three pounds, 12 ounces. That's going to put us in the first place. All right, we are in first place right now, 23 pounds of fish. And we need a couple more here. Six minutes and 30 seconds left. And we need a couple more fish here. We need a little bit bigger ones than that. God, there are some big fish swimming underneath of this. Oh, but man, look at the size of the fish. Perfect strike. Holy crap. That huge ass mama came right out of the water and grabbed a hold of this right in front of the boat. Holy moly, did you see that? Oh, this is a big old fish right here. I mean, I saw him. Look at the size of this fish. Come on in here, fish. It's probably eight, nine pound, maybe a 10 pound fish. Oh, this is gonna do it. This is gonna solidify us in first place. Look at the size of the belly on this fish. Wow, this fish is gonna need some Jenny Craig, some Weight Watchers, some diet. What's that thing that Chuck Norris sells? The Bowflex? It's gonna need all that. Come on in here, fish. Oh, this fish is big. This fish is fighting. Oh, he's running 22 yards away from the boat. Raise that drag up just a little bit. Now we'll lower it down. Oh, he's coming in the boat. Let's see how big he is. Holy crap. Oh my God. That is one of the biggest fish bellies I've ever seen. Not the biggest fish I've ever caught. Nine pound, 14 ounce. But look at the size of that fish's belly. I mean, that is one fat fish. It looks like a football. It's an absolute toad. Put him in the boot. Wow, unbelievable. And just like that, we are now very, very well in the first place. I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna switch up to the worm. I mean, you don't have to switch up to the worm. I could keep using the uh, buzz bait, but I kinda wanna see what this pink worm's gonna do here. Let's throw it right underneath the bridge. Basically just let it sink. Under four minutes left to go, and we are gonna reel this back level one retrieval. And every once in a while, I'll just give it a twitch. That's exactly what I did with that buzz bait. You know, constant retrieval is okay, but uh, you, know, you can bring that across the top of the water. If you see a bunch of big fish swimming around, and after three or four casts, they're not biting it, you gotta change it up and maybe, maybe do a little twitch every now and then, or, or a stop and go and these fish will react, and that's how I got that big one. One thing I love about this game is it tries to add in realism of actually fishing. Sometimes you gotta be smart and vary up where you cast it, how you cast it, how you retrieve it, different speeds, and what worked today might not work tomorrow. It's pretty cool. It's one of the reasons I really love this game. Oh, bam, oh, perfect strike, fish on. That is a fish on, and I don't think that's a bass. That does not feel like a bass. This feels like a big old catfish or something. Let's take a look. Oh, that's not a bass. What the hell is that? That's a big old catfish. All right, we're gonna raise up the drag to about 100 and break him off. There we go. All right, we gotta get right back in there. All right, back to the buzz bait. I do not want to catch another catfish. 100% cast strength. We want to catch bass only, and it looks like that pink worm might be uh, might be the wrong bait to use if you're trying to uh, get a hold of some bass. All right, we are still in first place, but not by much. It's only a five pound difference between second and first, and now it's a two pound difference. Dave Van Dim, oh, bam! Oh, that's a poor strike. That's a poor strike. We've got a bass on, fish on, it's a bass. Come on, we gotta keep him hanging on here. Dave Van Doom is coming right off our butts. He's in second place. And he's only two pounds away from us. And we are gonna need this fish with only 54 seconds left. We cannot afford to break this fish off. Come on, fishy. Stop playing around. We've got a poor strike. Maybe we got him hooked in the fin or something. Who knows? Come on in the boat. Oh, he's coming in the boat. All right, that's a nice sized fish. We are gonna take it. That's gonna help us. That is a six pound, six ounce smallmouth bass. Let's go. 10 seconds left. Can we hold on here 
and get the victory in this round. Scott Martin coming close. And that is it, the end of round one, and we have come in first place with 36 pounds, seven ounces of fish. That is pretty sweet, and I cannot wait to get into round two, because now I got a secret spot we're gonna go to. All right, second round, getting ready to start. Same rules, same sponsor goals. Let's get out there and do the same thing we did in the first round and kick everybody's ass. All right, round two. All right, three, two, one, get in the boat. All right, we are going back to the bottom boat ramp, we are gonna go through the bridge and back to a little cove to catch some real big ones. All right, here we go, same thing, get in the boat and turn right. We're gonna to go to the same bridge, we're gonna go under the bridge, we're gonna go all the way back in that cove. There's like a little islandy thing with some lily pads and we are gonna throw a frog. I mean, not a live frog, cause that would be kind of mean, you know, people, you get trouble for throwing frogs at people. But we're gonna throw a frog and uh, hopefully, and catch some big old bass. All right now, as you're coming past all these houses, make sure you slow down and wave to everybody. Say, hey, how y'all doing? All right, here it is. There's a little, just straight back in this cove. See this little patch off to the left? Like a little patch right here. And we are gonna get out, and we're gonna throw a frog right over here. All right, it's the Booyah Pad Crasher Leopard Frog. Tie it on, let's go. All right, bam, there it is. Level two retrieval. And we're just gonna bring this back to the boat. Oh, but man, I'm fish on! Oh, that's a perfect strike. That dude almost jumped right in our boat. Holy crap, boy, this frog and these big old fish, they're just hanging out down here. And these fish have been waiting for a frog. They're like, oh, cool, a frog. And they jump up and they get stuck in the face. And they're like, oh, crap, a frog with hooks in it. That's gotta suck being a fish. You know, you're looking for Imagine if that happened to us. Like, Really looking forward to eating this pizza that just showed up on my doorstep. And then, then you go and you grab a slice of it and all of a sudden you got a hook in your face. And that's no way to eat a pizza. Oh, he's coming in the boat. Wow, that's an average sized fish. We'll take him. Nice green color, good lateral lines. It's a six pound, nine ounce large mouth bass on the Booyah Pad Crasher. Put him in the boat. All right, we are not changing anything. Same technique, same everything. Let's bring that frog back on in here. The only thing, we might give that frog a couple twitches. I think that's what got the last fish to bite. Oh, ba bam Oh, that's a poor strike. That's a poor strike. Well, we got a fish on. It's an average size fish. Looks a little bit smaller than the last one. Maybe a five pounder here. And we gotta keep him on. Right, he's jumping, he's trying to shake this thing out of his face. Come on, in the boat. All right, come on, fishy. Always oh, coming in the boot. All right, nice, that's a pretty fish. Nice white underbelly. That's a six pound, one ounce largemouth bass on the Booyah Pack Crasher. Let's go. All right, still not changing anything up. Right back in there. Same retrieval, same everything. I mean, these bass that are hiding around these reeds and these little lily bass. Oh, bam, that's third cast, third fish. Fish on. Oh boy, he is skipping all around. Boy, this fish is pretty upset. I mean, I'd be upset too if, you know, you're hanging out, first thing you know, like, oh, he's coming in the boat. All right, not as big of a fish. It's kind of cool looking though, a little purpley green color and all that stuff. And that is a five pound fish. Put him in the boat. Well, when every cast catches the fish, you're not gonna change anything up and we're not changing anything. Oh man, there's another fish right underneath of it. Boop. Look at all these fish, but bam Oh, that's a poor strike. That is a poor strike. We gotta keep this fish on. That's a smaller fish. Oh, come on, you're so close to the boat. Just come on in here. Stop fighting it. Stop it. This is probably the same five, six pound. Oh, we broke it off. Son of a bitch. All right, 97% cast strength. Let's get right back in there. Wow, these fish are all over this frog. 100% cast strength, that is perfect. And bam, we are throwing that frog right on the edge of the shoreline. Now there's some other types of fish that are swimming around underneath of this thing. It's like those stupid long fish, muskies and pikes and stuff like that. They're just stupid fish. We don't want to catch any of those. Oh, there's a catfish came up to the surface. What the hell? Well, another 100% cast string. Oh, ba bam. Oh, fish on, perfect strike. Fish on. 
It just looks like another medium sized fish. Maybe we have to change it up here a little bit to get the real big ones. I mean, I've, I've caught some trophy bass back here, and I'm not catching them right now. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to bring this fish in the boat, and we might switch it up to the buzz bait, or maybe the, uh, the little crank bait. Oh, That's a feisty one, though. Definitely not the biggest fish I've ever caught. Come on in the boat. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty cool kind of brown orangish color really it's a smallmouth bass four pounds 15 ounce we're going to change it up a little bit and try and get some bigger ones all right we are changing it up to the crankbait the bandit 200 series it's a spring crawl color and same thing level two retrieval we're in about three feet of water it goes to about six seven feet of water maybe five feet of water i don't know and this thing just kind of swims around, bounces off the bottom, and level two constant retrieval. Let's see what happens. All right, we're casting out a little further left, maybe off of this point. Oh, here we go. Ba bam Oh, that's a poor strike. Crap. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm doing there. And that looks like it's still the average size fish. Jumping out of the water. Come on, calm down, fish. Jeez, a whiz. I need to put them on some Xanax. A little fishy Xanax. And he is excited, jumping around. Wow. Oh, he's coming in the boat. Oh, that's a little cute tiny fish. I mean, not tiny, but only four pounds, 10 ounces of smallmouth bass. Let's throw his ass back in the water and try and get his big brother or big sister. Or maybe his mama. Who knows? All right, we are switching up. Now, we're still about 10 pounds in first place, but... I really want to try and catch a trophy fish, so we've switched back to the black booyah buzz bait. And let's see if we can't uh, stir up some big ones. Oh, there's a big one. Just came up to take a look at it. Oh man, that's the one we want right there. Well, there are some real big fish coming to take a look at this thing. None of them are biting it though. All right, we're gonna try and cast a little bit further to the left. I see him coming to take a peek. Oh, look at him. Oh my gosh, look at how big they are. Less than five minutes to go, and we have got to get one of those big ones. There are some absolute monsters lurking back here. Oh, ba bam Oh, perfect strike. Fish on. That's not a big fish. Man, all these little ones keep taking it. I want one of the big ones. Golly, settle down. I mean, come on in the boat. You got your friends in the boat? It's like a party in here. You will not be sorry. Worst part is over, the hook's in your face. Come on, he's coming in the boot. All right, that's just another average size fish here. Strength in numbers though, four pound seven uh, ounce smallmouth bass on the Booyah buzz bait. 100% cast strength. We're gonna try this side of these reeds. And right now, we are gonna need to bring in some bigger fish because we got three minutes and 30 seconds left. And Carl Jacuminson, he's only three pounds of fish behind us. All right, back over to the left here. Oh my God, there are some big fish. What do we have to do to get these big fish here? Oh, ba bam Oh, there's a bigger fish. There's a bigger fish, I think. Is that a bass? Kind of came up and swiped at it. It doesn't seem like it's a bass. Oh God, please be a bass. And if so, please be a big fish. That looks like a trout or some stupid fish. We don't have time to mess around with these other types of fish. And that's not a bass. I'm going to break it off. Oh, he's coming in the boat. Ah, oh, it's a stupid fish. Punch him in the face. Throw him out. All right, we got like two minutes to go. We can't be screwing around with these other types of fish. Under two minutes left to go. Come on. 97% cash strength. Come on. One minute and 20 seconds left. We need one more decent sized fish. I would settle for an eight, nine pounder. Oh, ba bam! Oh, perfect strike. Fish on. That's a bigger fish. That is a bigger fish. We need this one. One minute left to go. Lower the drag. What am I doing? I had the drag up at like 50 because I was trying to break that last fish off. All right, now we got it. 45 seconds. I'm going to lower the drag down even a little bit more. That's a bigger fish. This is going to be the one that's going to save us here. Oh, look, he's a bigger fish. Come on. Oh, he's coming in the boot. 
Wow, look at the size of that fish. That is a big old fish. Purple bellied fish, eight pound largemouth bass on the Booyah Black Buzzbait. That's what I'm talking about. Put him in the boat. All right, that's it. Scott Martin's coming close here. We got three seconds, two, one. And that is it. Round two is over and we have won the second round. 30 pounds, 10 ounces of fish in that round. Scott Martin closed in on us at the last second there, but we were able to pull this out. Let's go. All right, round three is upon us. Same rules. Oh, three, two, one. Let's check the map. All right, this time we are going to the middle boat ramp and we are going to go. There's a couple spots off the middle boat ramp we can go to and we're going to go to... Uh, Go to the first one next to this like grain silo. All right, here we go. I'm getting the boat. Turn to the right. And there's a bridge up here. Now you can fish underneath of this bridge. Uh, there's there's a lot of fish to be had under here. But we are going to come out here and go towards these uh, little shipping container things. And there's like a grain silo thing. All right, so we're going to come to this little cove here. Turn the boat around. Kind of face out this way and we're going to turn right towards those rocks and there are some big old fishes over here and we're going to start off with the milk money stick worm now this is not a guaranteed spot just for bass there are other types of fish around here level one retrieval steady retrieval let's drag it across the bottom you might get a catfish you might get a muskie you might get one of those stupid gar if you start getting those other types of fish, then you know you either got to move or you got to change your bait. Oh, here we go. Ba bam Oh, that's a good strike. Not a great strike. Not a perfect strike. Just a good average strike. And that is a big old bass. Oh, my God. Look at the size of this fish. That is an absolute toad right there. I can see it in the water. This might be a trophy catch right here. Oh, we do not want to lose this dude. Well, we are going to have to tire him out. That is a big old fish. Come on, this is going to be the one. This is the fish of the tournament right here. Lower down that drag, let him run. And raise the drag back up when you're trying to pull him in a little bit. Let him run. Now start pulling him back in. Oh, that's a big ass fish. Oh my God. Come on, oh my God, look at him. Come on, this might be the biggest fish I've ever caught. I mean, look at the size of this fish in the water. We got it. He's so fat he can't jump out of the water. I mean, for real. I mean, this is like, he needs to go on some disability. He's so fat. Sheesh, your whiz. Look at him. That is a big ass. Thank God we got 20 pound line on. Come on, fish. Come on. Oh, he's coming in the boat. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at the size of that fish. That is a huge fish. 13 pounds, 6 ounces. Oh my God. Look at the size of that fish. I, th I th it looks bigger than 13 pounds to me. Maybe the scale's broken. Let's put him in a boat. Let's go. Look at that big ass toad fat football fish. Oh my God. This milk money is the absolute bomb sometimes. And we are going to keep it right where it is. We are still in first place. And that fish is huge. We catch another, another one of those 13 pounders and we can pretty much lock this in. Oh, but bam Oh, it's a poor strike. Oh, crap. It's a poor strike. Oh, please don't be a big fish and break it off. What kind of fish is this? Oh, it's a bass. Okay, it's not that big. That's all right. It's a small bass. I don't have time to play with you small ass little fish. Just come on in the boat. Come on in the boat. All right, that's a little last fish compared to the last fish we got. About three pounds, eight ounces. Let's get back in there. We're going to raise up the drag a little bit because I've been getting these poor hook sets and I feel like you need to have the drag set a little bit higher for when you do these uh, hook sets on these fish with the worm. Oh, 100% cast strength. That's pretty good. Oh, ba bam Oh, perfect strike. See, I raised that drag up and got a perfect strike on that one. And that's another bass. Pretty average size. Oh, he's coming right up to the boat. He's coming to say hi. Why don't you come on in the boat, bass? Oh, come on, now he's coming to the other side of the boat. He's checking out my boat. He, he likes this duck and fishing boat. Oh, he's coming in the boat. All right, that's a pretty looking fish. I like the stripes. 
I like his face. That's a smallmouth bass, five pounds, ten ounces on the milk money stick worm. Sweet. Oh, ba bam! Oh, perfect strike. Fish on. That is another fish. Is this a bass? Oh my god, it is. Lower down the drag. That is another big bass. Oh my goodness, look at this fish. This might be a 10 pounder right here. That is a big, big fish. Not as big as the first one we caught, but still, that's a big old fish. I tell you, this, this milk money worm doing its magic here. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Oh, he's right under the boat. Just get in the boat. Oh, for God's sakes. He swam right under the boat. I mean, if we had a net, we could have just reached out. Oh, man. Come on, big old fish. I'm going to raise up the drag. I'm trying to pull him in a little bit closer. Oh, he's coming in the boat. Oh, my God. Another toad. Look at the size of this fish. It's not as big as the first one. It's 13 pounds, 15 ounces. It is as big as the first one. Look at the size as big as we are. That is a big ass fish. Come on. Let's go. And this is exactly why we are on the Elite Bass Pro Tour. Because we catch the biggins. And I tell you, all these other fishermen right now, they're just asking themselves a question like, who the hell invited this guy out here to kick all of our asses every week? I mean, they're jealous. A lot, of, a lot of marital problems going on here with these fishermen because their wives know just how inadequate they are compared to us. Now, like, look, that guy, he kicks your ass every week. And, you know, I think they want to marry us. They're going to leave their husbands, the other fishermen, and all their wives are going to come to us. But that's all right. We are not getting married to any of the uh, other fishermen's wives because we are married to fishing. That's right. Well, we are 20 pounds of fish ahead of second place. It's Ben Olson. His wife's pissed at him. I mean, he's just not getting the job done at home or on the lake. All right, getting that milk money back out there. Now, I know. I know what I say. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But, I mean, we're 20 pounds of fish ahead of second place, and I kind of feel like... I feel like we could change it up a little bit here. And maybe go for the old... Oh, bam! Old fish on poor strike. See? Drag is, is a little too low. Ah, crap. That's a poor strike. Oh, it's another bass. Not a bass. That is not a big bass at all. That's a little tiny bass. Ooh, he is feisty and he's coming in the boat. Ah, a little cute tiny little bass. Two pounds, 14 ounces. We don't care about that bass. We want bigger bass. All right, we have switched it up to the Bandit 200 series spring crawl. And we are just going to bring this in, level two retrieval. And let's see what kind of action we can get on this. We'll make about five casts with this thing. All right, cast number two. All right, cast number three, 100% cast string. We are under five minutes left to go here. Oh, ba bam Oh, perfect strike. We almost pulled that fish right in the boat with that strike, and he's coming in the boat right now. Oh, man, little tiny cute fish. That's the one we're going to put aside, and we'll slap the other fisherman with that one. One pound, eight ounces. whoop de doo All right, enough of that little... Bandit 200 series, we're going to the Booyah Buzzbait. Let's see if a little topwater action will do something here. All right, second cast with the Booyah Black Buzzbait. Two minutes, 20 seconds left to go. We only got a couple more casts. We're 16 pounds of fish in uh, first place. I do see some big fish swimming around this thing. All right, one minute, 45 seconds left. Only 10 pounds of fish now. Oh, ba bam That's a good strike, not a great strike. Just an average good strike. It's not a poor strike. That's another bass. Put him in the boot. That's a little tiny bass. One pound, 13 ounce. That's not going to do it. Jacob Wheeler in second place now, trying to catch us. Oh, ba bam Oh, that's a perfect strike. Perfect strike. And is that a big old bass? It certainly does feel like it. And it's pretty far away. And that is a bass. That is not a real big one. Maybe all the big ones have uh, scattered. They've seen all their big ass fat friends get caught. And we need to pull this guy in the boat. There he is. That's pretty average. Oh, I hit the button. Didn't get to see what size he was. I don't think it counts. I think we've got big, five bigger fish than him. Now we got 10 seconds left. 
five, four, three, two, one. And that is it, round three in the books, 39 pounds of five ounces of fish in round number three. And that is gonna bring us to the end of the tournament. And I believe we are the winners. That is it, we won the tournament. Scott Martin came in second with 96 pounds of fish. We had 106 pounds of fish there. We won round one. We did not win round two. We came in second place, I thought we won. Then round three, we won again. And we are the champions. Sing the song. We are the champions, my friends. Or don't sing the song. I mean, I, I won't sing it again. If you don't sing it again, but we could sing it together. Maybe we could have a little fishing sim world karaoke session. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, we have moved up from 25th to 18th spot on the Elite Bass Pro Tour. And man, Gosh, what is it going to take to get in first place? We only have one event left. Wow, look at all that money we made. 20,000 followers we gained. We are at two and a half million dollars is our net worth. Good Lord. God, I wish this were real life. And there we are. The Bass Champion. $500,000 big old paper check. There's the trophy. How about we hold it up? Yeah, there we are with our sunglasses on holding it up. Don't drop it. We are the champions. Wow, one final event here. Southern Classic at Lake Travis. It's gonna be three rounds, 20 minutes each at sunrise. And man, wow, whew. That is gonna be a challenge. Lake Travis is always pretty tough here. And I tell you what, that's Southern Classic. We are gonna do that in the next episode. And man, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I appreciate all the support that I'm getting. It is a real blast to do these videos. And I tell you, 18th spot currently in the Elite Bass Pro Tour, and we are moving on up just like the Jeffersons. And keep supporting this series, keep supporting the channel, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, what the hell's wrong with you? Subscribe to the channel, do it right now, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out. Most importantly, Thank you guys for letting me be a part of your day. We're going to see you right back here in the next video.